Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chess Stars Contest Weekend at ChessStars.com in the World Wide Web, anywhere in the world. You can tune in to ChessStars.com Saturday, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time and join our amazing and unique contests where cheating is impossible and anybody can win fantastic prizes simply for predicting the move played in a live chess match between very strong players and in Today's match, we have Grandmaster Unieski Casada from Cuba, and he is playing Grandmaster Alexander Bortnik from Ukraine. To announce the match, we have for you, Coach Correspondence Master Hofer, and we have Chess Stars President Sasha Starr. Welcome. Thank you, Martin. We have indeed fantastic contest is coming up. We have two very, very strong players. Indeed, Grandmaster Unesky Casada and uh, Grandmaster Alexander Bortnik. Uh, it's not really much higher you can go in the chess world because these two players, they know a lot about the game and they will demonstrate it to us very shortly. Uh, Unesky Casada has white pieces, Mike. Tell us, what do you think he's going to do with White? They're going to see four-pawn attack against the Aryakins. Oh, that's how far you go. Da, so you already da. know the opening and you know the line. Yes, okay, we'll find out very soon. But I agree with you that E4 will be played. You know, Sasha, I, I'm only here because I heard that Martin Scorsese was going to be here today. Yes, yes, he loves to see and, this. And Tom Cruise. But then I found out it wasn't Martin Scorsese, it's Marty yeah. Hirsch. So he's even more famous and I'm more excited. Well, okay, let's hope to have a <laughs> really good game and enjoy yourself, you. everybody. And now we start. E4 was played. Okay, so now there is a choice between huh. knight 6 or maybe something else. He played G6 against uh, Tom Cruise. And against Donald Trump? What did he do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Enjoy the show. Okay. We know the next white move. Nah, sure. Of course we do. And. Yeah, E5 in, is forced move. In my, yeah, in my best Doris day. Yuniski looks good to me. Yep. Well, after knight d5, uh, when I play blitz against Nava, I always play c4 and c5. Of course. But it's not going to happen today, right? Well, you know, does it matter which move you play first? I always wonder about that. Does it matter? Yeah, I guess. Either, either move is okay. Ah, I got it. You got it right. I got Excellent. lucky. So here we have choice of d6. Um, huh? What else? D no is choice. g6 available here? There's no choice. You play d6. Mm -hmm. There we go. In yep. the show. Here we go. And White is going to play knight to f3, right? <laughs> no. And why not? He's going to play c4. Really? Oh, oh, okay. Wow, nice. I'm wrong. Imagine that. Well, ah, yes, you 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 said something about four four points. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why did he play that? I don't know. Well, he will take no, because he's been practicing for he's preparing for Bortnik. Yes, this is a good sign probably for Yuniski. <laughs> now the question is, nine take for. Takes. Oh, it's night. 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 Night takes. For sure. And, uh, yeah. There we go. And then we have the C6 move. Nicht and the C6 is coming. Nicht the Bonhof. That's a Nicht the Bonhof. C6 coming up. So Yuniski has found something maybe. Well, the first hint here is g6, but c6 was still played. Good for you, Mike. Uh, you got. I got lucky. Now, very lucky. What does Yuniski do here? Probably knight d2 or bishop e2. This is a tough choice, actually. 
Ah, Unieski. Unieski. We're well, going to see if we can find Unieski. I mean, we probably won't. And the winner is. Well, I'm still in the yards. Ah, oh, wait, wait, we've got him. And uh, uh, Bishop E2. Bishop E2 was played. Yeah. Okay, so now Bishop F5 is a major uh, consideration here to uh, see if, what's wrong with this move, Bishop F5. Any problems? I don't know, but uh, Unisky no. played like four different moves there. Oh, you already played okay, it? Not interesting. See recommendation G4 right for to attack this bishop. Maybe it's a good move. Why not? Okay. Yeah, castles. Castles or G4. G4 has been eschewed by the stronger players. Grish Chuck, uh, back row, in the back row. And uh, Wang, they all play castles. The G4 boys. Oh, Anand just played G4. Kasparov. Oh, you were familiar with this. Judah the Pulgar. Yep. Wow. Sasha, how come you know more about this opening than I do? Um, yeah, but I don't play this system. <laughs> and even if I would play, it's, it's insignificant because I'm just, just not uh, strong enough to have any recommendations here and there. But position is interesting. And Castro yeah, was yeah. playing. That's Unisky style, man. Yeah, yeah, I think Unesco wants to have a solid position and, and only then to show his teeth. Okay, so what do you think? 97 is a reasonable move here to get rid of this knight on e5? Yeah, and there it is. Mm hmm. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. That was obvious. That was slow. And he'll retreat. Oh, although it's not a passive retreat, but it, the thing is, when you retreat here, you're, you're saying, I do not want to trade my college graduates for your high school dropout. So you're expecting Bishop D3? No. Knight back. Knight back. Yeah, he's going wow, to trade because he doesn't want to trade with this guy. He's going for blood. Wait a moment. But so knight before now? Or not? <sighs> E6 is the all you can move, and I didn't get it in. Yikes. Mm. And Heiko is in the lead. And I'm wondering... And wondering. So, C4. It's about time for C4. There is time for Uniski to play the C4 move. Where's my mouse? Man, I can't. There we go. C4 for sure. Yeah, C4 is uh -huh. But, you know, uh, Mike, consider one thing. We have 86 viewers, 87 now. So, the pools are fairly large, as you can see now, well over 2,000 crowns each pool. So sometimes uh, little moves like H3 can get you a good profit on, on your investment. You've learned how to use uh, Marty's database online, haven't you? There's 47 times A3, 329 C4. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A3 is like a, a, a that's like a, a Safari move. Well, the thing is, I don't think that H3 will be played in this position by uh, Unieski. I agree with that. However, However, if Ooh. it will, then you put only five crowns. I found five games with Bortnik. He's won th three of them, drew with mm -hmm. back row, and only lost to Grischuk. Interesting. So he, he, he likes this position. Yeah, and that means Unisky has looked at this. This is going to be a war. Ha ha. Yeah. So what is he taking his time? Why not he's going C4? Uh-oh, that's a good point. Oh, my God, does he need to smoke? I hope so, because you're right. He should have this. Uh-oh. So what, is he scared of night before, or what? Yeah, this is a good question. You know, I, th I thought maybe the guy was prepared since he... I don't know. I don't know. This is ominous. There it is. Okay, NC4 works. Oh, I know what it is. He's trying to pretend like he didn't prepare. There you go. Ah, a lot of warfare. Yeah, absolutely. Knight for sure. Yes, smart. You got me nervous there for a minute. Hmm. That's exactly what's going on here. Ah. <clears throat> Knight of six. Wow, that's, a, that's kind of unexpected. No, it's not. Sure. But it's even better. 
We're now following Grishchak Bortnik. Grishchak played in knight h4, and everybody else played knight c3, knight h4, and he played knight c3. Interesting. So the move that Bortnik has won against has been played on the air, live and in color, right here in Toronto, Canada. Hmm. Bortnik has okay. had three responses. d6 or e7 with the bishop, which is better. Which is better. What about that king uh, knight e4? Do you have any idea about that one? No. Uh, 41 times. Bishop d6, 115. But Bortnik has a surprise for us right now, live and in color. Bishop. Oh, knight e4, now the first king. He's going to play that? bishop e7, my prediction. Yep. Bishop d6. 115 times, knight e4, 41 times, bishop e7, seven times. I predict bishop e7. Give me the pool, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's almost 3,000 crowns. Oh, it's over. Boom shakalaka, baby, yeah. Come on, come on, Bortnik. He played well, it He played well. it in February. And he won. Look at this h6 hint as well. h6, what a hint. He beat Lanich 2662 with the bishop e7. Let's see that again. But now h6 is the first Ah, hint. he went with his old main his line. h6 was played. Oh, got it. So these guys are both trying to mess around. Uh, now we got the choice of knight h4 and rook e1 again. Or d5. There's a bunch of stuff here. This sucks, man. This is hard. I don't know what to do. Ah, well, that's good, though, for the contest. Actually, we have 90 uh, viewers. It's kind of... So it's good showing, I must admit. It's uh, And the pool's getting larger. That's, that's a good thing about it. He didn't go 94 before, but it sure looks like it's a good move now. Yeah, let it go 94, you need to keep, but everybody's going to have that. Wait a minute. Yeah, this, I, I guess this is why h6 on the previous move was uh, the first hint at some point. Hey, it was played, actually. Yep, here we go. Enjoy the show. What will happen mm -hmm. next? Well, Bishop g6 is box. These books. What the, is, what's wrong with the engine? It's, you know, it's Bishop g6. What's going on? G6. He's going to play it. Uh, the first hint was for a while win B8 to attack on an H2. It's like Zwischenzug, right? But yeah, it didn't Zwischenzug. happen. Not Zwischenzugs today. No, yet, yet. G3. G3 coming to, for, to me. G3. Who's leading this? Rebus. Rebus. Rebus, you're in trouble, brother. I need to close your okay, motorcycle. You know, here, what happened here on top? Edgar Rivas is in first place, followed by Nat, Ragulio, Mazzelion, Victor Magas, Ogotanta, <laughs> Heika, Yeritsian, Yurina Barchuk, and Slavka Popovich. Well, we have a fantastic field today. Usual suspects. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very strong suspects, I guess. Yeah, perhaps. So, is it time to castle or something else? G3, baby! G3! The knight's hanging! And he cast. Oh, wait a minute. G3 got played. I, I'm slow on the uptick. I didn't see it was played. Sorry. Oh, the castle was already played. So, yeah. what's to play now? Uh, well, I gotta get back to paying attention. <laughs> All right, then. Well, well, then. Um, well, he could bag the bishop. He could play bishop e3. He could play bishop f3. Yeah, it's quite a choice here, actually. <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah, knight takes g6. I think it's a logical move, because why Why did you play knight h4 in the first place? Yeah, it ain't Maybe going it's, away. Not. it's not going away either. So yeah, That's true. That's yeah, true. That's why geez. or might just wait until black will try to play something else to, to attack the knight on h4, which is not easy. Bishop e3 was played, and now, just now. How many? Yeah, eight people. Yeah. yeah. I was actually right in the verge of doing that. It was risky. What do we have now? Well, we have a position that Mr. Bortnik has never had in the database. Interesting. 
Wherefore, well, 94. Uh, it's very common. Yeah. Yeah, and the engine hates it, so I like it. Yeah, let's go with that. 94. Other options, E5, a very logical move. And he didn't. What did he do? He rookie eight. That's all I even played once in chess history. And white one. I didn't expect it. White one. What just happened? Oh, no. I just lost power. All right. Well, is it important? Maybe not. Oh, jeez. Is the first hint that knight takes uh, g6? It's yeah. about time to pray. Why did I get a warning on this? Me, just me. Okay, finally it was played. So on h text. G6 of Okay, do we have power now? Okay, yes. now you can choose between Queen B3 or A3 or Queen D2. Now it's most likely could be red. Okay, I apologize. I just had a power outage, but I got it back. So, um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Hmm. okay, in B3, probably, or in D2, or even D3. Now, C5, I don't like, doesn't look to me aesthetically proper move. So, maybe, just maybe, oh, A3, here's another thing. Now, we have uh, some changes. Edgar Rivas is still in first place, but now they're followed by Jose Mar Marquez, Slavka Popovich, Solodovnichenko, Luis Jose, Victor Maga, Heka Iritsyan, and Matsi Leon. Okay, we have very strong leaders, very strong contest. And now, what White is about to play? That's the question. So maybe logical continuation is Queen B3 with the idea of D1 and trying to fight D5 advance. Let's see now what's going to happen here. How's it doing on time? Uh, Grandmaster Kassari is taking a little bit longer time to think of his moves. He still has over 23 minutes left. And uh, Grandmaster Bortney has 27 and a half minutes still intact. How does Stockfish come up with an anti-positional move like that? <laughs> See, five. Yeah. Not only that, it's a first hint now. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, it doesn't look right to me. <laughs> Bishop F3. That's where I'm rolling. I'm rolling Bishop F3. Here we go. Finally, I got my power back. I got my senses back. I'm back. Bishop F3. Here we go. Maybe. Anything better than C5, I think. What is going on around here, Michael? Well, it's position. I see it's Queen B3, Queen G3, Queen G2, Bishop F3 is possible. Not C5, I really don't. Oh, Queen B3 was played, oh, finally. God. That's surprising. I am surprised by that one. Okay, so what to play now? Oh, gosh. Mm, hard to say. <sighs> what am I doing? No. How did that happen? So there are three queen moves. Queen C8, Queen C7, Queen B8. What is this? Ah. Queen B8 doesn't look oh, right to me. Queen C7, yes. Oh, God. Okay, so what's now? The first hint, F, mm. no, A3 and F4 is second. Yeah, F4 looks oh. awfully tasty, except it blocks a bishop. 
Hmm. Hmm. I still like my Bishop F3 move. But that's biting on granite. Um, maybe he'll move a rook. I'd move a rook, I guess, if I was Unisky. You think Unisky will play rook e1? Yeah, e1? yeah, which rook, dude? That's, that's the other question. But yeah, I, that's what I'm going to go with. And, uh oh, Stockfish, why do you have to do that? You're getting annoying. King, e2, King G2, that's a funny one. Anyway, work D1. Ah, I had it down to the work. Oh, ah, two big winners, Peter Rabula oh. and Solomichenko. Each won 955 crowns. And the result is that Solomichenko now in the first place, followed by Edgar Rivas, Luis Jose, Heiko Yeritsan, Jose Marquez, Peter Rabula, Sasha Starr, ah. and Chuk. Oh, wow. Really? I'm right behind you, though. And bravo to Solo. Yes, well done. Yeah, bravo to fantastic. Peter. E5 well, right. is the refutation since he didn't play Ricky 1. So he's got to go E5 now. Now or never, baby. Let's go. It's Elvis time. It's now or never. He's got to go E5, right? Is it not E5, Sasha? Yeah, I, I agree. Yes, that's a move to play. Yeah. E5. The only, the only, what I don't like about that move is that you're justifying White's move rook to A to D1. That's true. Uh, but A5 is a logical move and uh, probably will be played. Yes, and Black also has the ability to put a rook on the D file at some point in time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, essentially, the position is equal. It's hard to see it advantage. Equal? That's a good question. I think I like white. Don't you? You like white? Sasha? Sorry? You do not like white here? Mm, I don't think the black has any advantage. It has some space, but I don't think it's advantage. Mm. Yeah, you know what? If he plays e5, you're right. e5 is like dead equal, I think. As I was just looking at what, what, what does white do on e5? Does he take or does he push past? And at that point, even the anti-positional, I have too much, what? Hmm. Where are we? Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, if he plays e5, c5 actually could be an option. Well, c5 runs into moves like knight b5, for example. I don't know if you want to allow that. Yeah, after e5, I, I don't even know if it's better to play d5 or tags. And he didn't play... Well, yeah. Really? C, really? C, what does that do? Five. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, not to me. e5 is a right, very good move here. Now white has the advantage. With uh, what? How does he get the advantage? He plays rookie one now, or Rick D two. Well, he could play Rick D two as well. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Oh, and Stockfish is all over Rick D two. Imagine that. Oh. Rook D two is a good developing move, preparing another rook coming on D file. Uh. -uh. The first thing is c5, the looking move, but maybe after a6, maybe it's a little bit more justified than before. Because it stops c5, huh. probably forever. Alright, I think I know our boy. I'm going to find out right now. Will he play rookie 1? Will he play rookie 2? 
You will not play c5. I, I, I like rook g2 more than rook e1 because uh, I really don't, don't see what uh, what can I do on e5. Just change black's rook. Now on d file you are, first of all, you are well prepared for c5 or e5 breaks. Look at the money. Look at the money. What is almost eight? Wow! Woohoo! We've hit the big time, Sasha! Ha ha! Bravo! Congratulations, oh, wow. my friend! Yeah, wow! That's, that's there was no winners on the previous move, so it's <laughs> double. Oh boy! Terrible! The contest is on the line right here, boys and girls. Yeah. You can put five crown on a move like uh, King H1 or H3 and become a, a winner. But not when he's gonna play a rook move. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be right here? Rook G two is. Oh, actually, now your suggestion, Rook F E one, is now second hint. Yeah, and it's because Stockfish is jealous. He hates me. <laughs> I still don't understand why C five is in the first place. <clears throat> Boom! Booyah! Fourteen seventy four. Yes. Winners. Wow. I'm coming, Solo. I'm coming, Yuri. Ha 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 ha. This is great. What a wonderful day. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, I got a little excited, Sasha. <laughs> oh, you're playing very well. Congratulations. Yes, <laughs> Rook F E one. So now to play. What to do? Did Solo have that? Yeah, he did. Well, I'm confused. I don't know. He didn't put very much on it, though. Aha, I did. Okay. Well, is it b6, c5, b5? Only the shadow knows. He could even play bishop of eight. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like it like that. Yeah, I think that would have gone, though. Yeah, play the c5 move. Yes. Oh, thank you, Nanad. Well, I guess it is time. Yes, I've been successful with this before, so let's 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 keep the tradition going. <laughs> For my Hispanic friends. Yes, here we go. Well, so Bishop F eight looks uh, looks okay. Boom. No. Ah, no. No, I think he's going to be more aggressive. Although, A6, I don't know about that move, man. I don't know. And there's B5. All right, then. And it's five. We have five winners. Not so bad. Yeah, that was on my... I mentioned it. I mentioned the three pawn moves. And that was... Uh, that's interesting. I like this. This guy's... The, I like the way both guys are playing. Uh, unlike last week. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where uh, Don Checker just had a walk in the park. Well, if you don't like C5, which is the first hint now, then Bishop F3 is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I've been here. screaming for that forever. He could even do Bishop F1. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But I think F3 is a little sharp, but yes. Yeah, yeah, Tavares, we go with Bishop F3. Duh. Yeah, that is my choice. And it's the choice of Yuri, Solo, Dovna, Chenko. And let's see who else we have here. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a contest, baby. No, oh, but I think that now C5 is not so bad, actually. Because after Bishop retreats, you can follow up with Bishop F4, Bishop F3, and you can have reasonable position. <sighs> yeah. It's still an ugly looking move, any, any way you look at it. Uh, but less ugly than before, that's for sure. <laughs> Mi amigo Yuniski, uh, he preferred the pieces to the pawns. Oh, okay, so I was right about C5. Oh, you were right about it. See, ah, there I go, I'm wrong. Who got that? Twelve people. Not Yuri. Yeah, yeah Yuri, went, I went down. He, Yuri bet more than I did. So, good okay, bravo. so it was Sasha Star and 11 more Sasha, people. Yeah, yeah. Sasha Star. Okay. Shining Star. Sure. Bishop of eight, obvious and good. And now, where do you put the queen? Do we move the queen, or what do we do? 
Why do the Thessalonians agree? I don't know. I've lost the thread now. A4? No. Yes, no. A4. I don't know. We could always go back to Bishop F3. In fact, Bishop F3 makes tons of sense here. But he oh, did move the queen. Check that out. And he got three winners. Esteban Valderrama, 710 crowns. And God of War. And Ninadra, 178 crowns each. Wonderful. Congratulations to all winners. So, E5 what is coming, now? although A5 would be consistent, it would be, it's over B4. All three of those moves make sense. He didn't play E5 before, so, oh God, what is going on? Yeah, it's hard to say, actually. <laughs> I think white is better, though, but, uh, dum -ba -dum -ba -dum, bada bing, bada boom, A5. Yeah, no, that's the, no, I'm not going with the main move. I'm going to abstain. Okay, so you, well, you don't have to always predict every single move. You can sometimes take it easy, observe the position, figure yeah. out what is it can. Get the free points. Sure, because with the pools like this, we have average pool probably about 3,000. Yeah, yeah. So two and a half for sure. Everyone's alive. Yeah, I have no clue, so I'm not going to even bother. Very rare for me. Hmm. Well, I think A5 and B4 have about equal chances to be played here. Okay. Yeah. E5 would also make this sense, though. But it doesn't seem to be what he's been playing for. I think E5 is the best move. E5? Yeah, I think it's the best move, but I don't think he's going to play it. Because then it just is it's changing plans in the middle of the sea. <laughs> I don't think that, that uh, Black will play now E5. No, he won't. So now I'm almost talked into myself into A5. I've almost maybe talked into put, it. Maybe he wants to put his knight on G5, reinforce it there, maybe with another knight F6, and just wait. I don't think that Black can All stop right. up uh, play here. Agreed. Agreed. Now, if he plays B4... Where's the knight go? Well, yeah, it can go surprisingly on e4. Yeah, yeah so he's going to play a5. I just got convinced. I am now wagering. Yes, a5. Almost for sure. Now that I've had time to think. a5? Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the two moves. Yeah. All right, Yuri, choose wisely. Hey, Arkin's here. The exterminator. Greetings, Arkin. Our friends from Baku are here. So, so Dornichenko is in the lead, followed by Ninadra Bulia, Edgar Rivas, Slavka Popovich. Ah! Doggone it. Coin flipped the wrong way. Son of a gun. Well, we have also an, another leader, Kuru, Kuru Kucha. Suzu or Suzu Hamza. Michael Hofer and uh, Mr. Bob Drama. Uh, Strong uh, field. Uh, 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 well, well, you know what? The knight is very well placed on A4, actually. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe another plan is possible. Knight to B1 and G2 and C4. He could go to B1. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of like that. Oh, my God. I this think, is a tough yeah, decision. Yeah, probably it's better than knight a4. But knight e4, I think, is the main line to consider here. Okay. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Hello. Vienna calling. <laughs> Hello. I see one. Tigran Petrosian has entered the building. A Tigran move. You see, now knight b1 is second hint, and knight e4 is first. It's elegant. I like it. He ain't going to trade pieces with this guy, so knight e4 is out. Knight e4. Come on, he's playing. Yeah. Tigran. Tigran is back. Yes. Go, Yuniski. Go for it, baby. Oh, yeah. Solo. Did you play knight b1 solo? <laughs> Big pool, too. 
<laughs> Thank you, Sasha. Well, the pool is getting actually bigger and bigger. It's it's almost uh, every month we have at least two thousand crowns. I can hardly <laughs> control myself. He's going to play ninety one. He's going to do it. <laughs> Quite a long one time. Uh, it has uh, about 16 and a half minutes, mm -hmm. and Borton has over 19 and a half minutes left. So Borton has slight time advantage. K Sada Perez Yuniski, he's not playing 94. Nana, you're out of your mind. Yeah, I agree. That 94 doesn't doesn't uh, do uh, good. Uh, it helps uh, black uh, machine. Uh, uh. <laughs> It's the real name of Rubuli. Rubula. 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 Yes, right. I have to get my survey pronunciations right. <laughs> well, look at we have. Novak Peselia is big winner now. 2360 huh? crowns. Congratulations to Novak. What well the done. Hell? Fantastic prediction. Yeah. Well, that just forces Black to make a good move of the E5. So, whatever. Whatever. Well, the king came up with uh, quite a pick there. And he's in the lead. Imagine that, like the old days. Imagine that. Really. <laughs> this is funny. Yep. Now I will pay full attention. E5 is box. Yeah, what else to play? Queen A7? Seriously. So, anyway, normal position now is a leader. Yeah, isn't it amazing how strong this guy's become lately? Just like picking Giant moves like that constantly. Wow. Takes a lead. Yeah. Oh, that was my chair. Ah. Okay. E5. And then the result of that is white no longer has a backward pawn. There's a knight any five, and the refutation is that, that knight's pinned. So it's I don't know. Now the more I look at it, uh, the less I like the bishop f four. Yeah, agreed. I think knight b one probably was dinner. Yeah, knight b one was elegant. I'm really kind of surprised. That's not Unioski style Bishop F4. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. That's what I was thinking. It's just weird. But anyway, man. all of them continues. However, we have seen Unioski last year. It was the year before. Play some extraordinarily odd moves. But lately, he's been like a machine. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out where the knight's going to go after um, takes takes. Because the a4, e4. Yeah, I guess a4. I don't know. Yeah, because b1 is no longer any good. Yeah, it is no longer any good. Yeah, now a4 is a place to protect the c5 pawn. Yeah, this, yeah. this is what you, you didn't have to deal with before. If you, yeah. If you relocate the knight, d1, d2, c4. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Hey, the Serbians are talking. Yeah. Wow. You're amazing. Go, go. Plus, it's doing very well in the contest. Uh, 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 Novak Pezeli is in the lead. And then Ninad Rabuli is in third place. These guys are hilarious. <sighs> and Slavka Popovic is on the board. That is What's wrong with that? It's fantastic. Congratulations to Serbia. Yeah, go, oh. go, Serbia. Uh, I wish I could say more. I won't. <laughs> okay. 
Well, now we are employed. What is he thinking about? Seriously. I well, don't see some other moves. Moves. Some moves like Queen A7 or so. So You know, it makes a lot of sense because um, um, in this case, White Knight on C3 is still under attack. White has to deal with somehow with the pawn on E5. I guess Black doesn't like his knight being pinned and he's looking for alternatives. I don't know. Whatever. I don't think the pin is a problem. <sighs> but maybe he wants to move the queen and put oh, his knight on D5. You were right. Okay. And we have big <laughs> winners. Marcus David. Right. 1765 crowns right. and God of War 441. So is Ninat Rabulu <clears throat> 88 crowns. Congratulations to all. It's very good predictions. Queen to B7. So now we have to do knight to E4, A4 of 91. Well, one of those moves for sure. Oh, yeah, he might do Yeah. I'm confused. No, he didn't do B1 before, so he's not going to do it now. So, yeah. And how can he be so right? slow? Yeah. But after, you know, after Queen B7, that makes even more sense try to do B1, D2, C4. Oh, my God. King is here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Really, Sasha. Look at this. King is here. King. This is funny. You guys think you're funny. Aha. Uh -huh. Do a stand-up routine. Wow. Well, look at this. Two leaders are Novak, Pizelia, and Nenad Rabulia. And Yuri Sotovchuk is very close third, followed by Marquez David, Edgar Rivas, Suzu Hamba, Kukuracha, Kurukurukucha, sorry, and Slavka Popovic. Wow, very tight uh, contest. Has Marty finished his sock shock therapy uh, thing yet? I would like to see that done. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. That's all you well, need. Let's hand this knight e4. All right. Hey, I'm fired up now. I'm paying attention. We're on. It's on. This will be fun. Wow. These guys. At least they have a sense of humor. <sighs> So knight e4 oh was played. Oh, okay, really? so what is going to play? a5 probably, or knight takes e4? Well, I didn't like it because of knight takes e4. Yeah. <coughs> Surprised it's only third hint. The first hint is a5. Yeah, and he didn't play that before when he could have, so. Yeah, well, why didn't I jump on that? It's free money, but everybody had it. Whatever. Yeah. Well, well, I think he'll play Queen Takes. Imagine that. I can't even yeah. mouse to Yeah. <laughs> Hide expected. Mouse. Mouse. Yeah, my mouse didn't work on time. This is ridiculous. Oh, Knight of Six, of course. My mouse has left the building. This is good. There we go. All right, I'm in. Yeah, the first thing is uh, A5, but I think Knight of Six yeah. is the most natural move. Oh, imagine that. Okay, no, so it was played now. Jenny flecked half three. It's a good move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, H1? Yeah, yeah, H1. Yeah, stockfish. Drug test for stockfish. H1. That's funny. Queen H1. Yeah, to play H4. Why H1? Why not Queen G2? <laughs> yeah, another great move. <laughs> <With fear. laughs> this is funny. All right, then. Oh. Knight d5, and we come alive. Oh, why did I tell everyone? Shut up, Mike. No, a5, Stockfish is right. Yeah, shut up, Mike. Shut up. Dude, what is Stockfish? No, now Stockfish is awake. Oh, jeez. I need to get, like, a cool alter identity. Look at, <coughs> look at this leaderboard. Hmm. 
Oh, look at that. I was right. Imagine that. Right. Sasha, where are you? Now I'm full room. This. Yeah. H4 is interesting, weird. Um, he's kind of moved the bishop. The bishop is good, and I don't know why I was slow with that. Esteban, bravo. I should, I was, I, what, dude, what am I, uh, that was obvious and good and fast. All right, F6, F6, yeah, F6 for sure. Man, I'm really disappointed. That was 369 crowns out the window. Now, where does he go after F6? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Where does he go after F6, man? Where? He also has to go back to F4. So is it a, a, a good concession getting Black to play F6 here? To make a weaker E6 and G6? Yeah, right? yeah. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. It's a good thing Nina doesn't have a big ego. It'd be a problem if he had a big ego. All right. F6, Bishop F4, yeah. Oh, uh, mm. yeah, give him a kiss. Hmm. Well, Bishop F4, and then where's Black's counterplay? A5? This, is, this has become uh, sort of like nitroglycerin. Welcome to another episode of the soap opera of Will. What is Black thinking about, by the way? Let's talk about the game. Uh, let's pay attention to chess. F6, Bishop F4, A5, then Bishop C4 taking advantage of the weakened king position. So, yeah, this is kind of an important move for Black right now. Highly important, I would say. Yeah, yeah, because I think Watts winning the game after uh, Bishop C4, so he probably shouldn't play F6. I have now concluded this after I entered it. We don't have to take a button. So, he may just go ahead with A5. And I think Black's in trouble. How did this happen? Well, he moved his queen instead of playing E5. All these moves look good, too. You know? Knight takes, knight F6, knight D5. But Yaniski has an excellent feel for this position, maybe. Stay tuned. <coughs> Pardon me. In fact, I'm going to hit the mute button. <sighs> ah. All right, then. Yeah, yeah it's important he's taking his time. He's not playing F6. Because he's in trouble, and he knows it. I didn't see this coming, man. This is very, very powerful for White. And look at him with his backward pawn at d4, and his piece is all ready to just swarm. Yeah, but Black's got also weaknesses. Look at that b4 pawn wandering away from the flock. The c6 pawn, that can be under attack. And look at those goofy pawns in front of his king. Aha! Yes, shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Shark tank. Ooh ha ha. We should invite Mark Cuban. Hmm. Yeah, Black needs some simplifications here. So oh, no. oh, the rook move, the rook move. Oh, he just saved the day. Not. Now Black has sizable advantage. Yeah. Well, how does he capitulate here and uh, just the capitalize and... Uh, uh, H4? Oh, That's stock for sight, but no. Let's hit the white squares like a human would. Good job, you need to winners. Yeah. So don't think of 453 yeah, Michael Barron and Miguel 9513. Congratulations to all. Yeah, Yuri's faster than me by far. Bravo, Yuri. 
The you know, Serbians might be in trouble now. Ha ha, Yuri's in the lead! Ukraine! Ukraine! This should be seven. He's got to play it or A5. I don't know. I don't know. Bishop E7 doesn't really help, though, does it? Well, yeah, it does. Yes, it does. It's Bishop E7. Oh, my God. Stockfish is right. Will. Will Bortnick see this? Let's give him credit. He will. He hasn't moved the A-pawn for a while. So, yeah, Bishop E7. Michael Barone. I like that guy. Miguel. Don't know him. Sorry. I am Miguel. You need to identify yourself. So I will know you. Wow. Now the first king is queen d7. What is that for? I don't know. That's for stock first. Uh, just counting squares. We have bishop e7 kind of fends off the attack by going to f6. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. So I'm maybe. surprised. Oh, a5 was okay. Oh, no, he's going back oh, to that. Right. Oh, wow. Now it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, Yuniski. Oh, my God. I did this in a correspondence game once. I love that move. Woohoo! I think. But is it even necessary? King G2, I love it. Yeah, but then, you know, yeah, a grandmaster will see what's happening with that. So why why is it? Well, I guess you do have... I'm surprised that H4 and H3 uh, both have about equal recommendations. Yeah. Why? Yeah, H3 does not. <laughs> and there it is. Four of us played, okay. That Man, makes sense. everybody had that one too. Well, we got some smart viewers. Yep. <sighs> I got distracted with the King G2. I was entering H4 and then stock for slight. I started sitting my neurotransmitters on fire. Well, F6 is not the answer. Love is the answer. He's going to go Bishop E7 now. It's now an right? Dude, you need to get some Luft and get the Rooks over. Yes. Luft. So Bishop E7, I don't yeah. see anything like that. Yes. In the meantime, Borknik started to spend more and more time, and now he's behind yeah. you know, over four minutes. We've seen Yuniski uh, do pawn storms on the king side before. <laughs> yes, he will enjoy this. But after H5, G5 is going to get played, and it's going to lock things up. Most likely. Oh, he may not even play h5. He might just uh, play king g2 and wait in the weeds for his victim. Like Ted Bundy. Yeah. yeah I think White's got an easy win here if he doesn't watch it. Well, basically, the game is now for two results. Either White will win or it will be a draw. I don't see how Black can win. It's for sure. <sighs> so, in the meantime, so Donichenko is now in first place, followed by Nina Drahulina and Novak Pesilia, Edgar Rivas, Marcus David, and uh, Kurukucha, Slavkopovic, and Esteban Valtama. They are very strong field, very good players, very good predictors. Where are we? Why aren't we up there? Well, <laughs> it's too tough to get in. Yeah. Oh, there's still time. There's still time, my friend. There's still time. Ah, yeah, maybe in tomorrow's game. Oh, no, there's still time today, baby. Could be? Yeah. Hey, Maynard is genius. Oh. He's genius. What, what, you know, he's the Troy Aikman of chess. Yes, Captain Obvious. And Esteban says, no. Oh, well, whatever. whatever. Yeah. It's <laughs> going to give the time travel. Move faster. Yeah, it's 1 0. It's just how. Does he know the way to San Jose? Do we know the way to San Jose? Uh, I've got lots of friends in San Jose. Hmm. Okay. Any enemies in San Jose? I got enemies everywhere, Sasha. You know this. <laughs> well, this looks, like, this looks like Fisher me I'm concern. What's he doing? This is not Fisher me I'm concern. No, it is not. But A3 still might be an antidote. <laughs> it's funny. 
Yeah. And look at that, Yonatra Buna was right. He is going to play A3. Yes, yeah. he says, Bobby, 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 A3. About Saladol Nichenko, Novak Pizzella, Edgar Rivas, Marcus David, all usual leaders. Oh, he ignored him. He ignored him. He played KG2. Christian Ratu, 617 oh crowns. God, bravo. All at Paris, Andres, and Armenia, all three. Petra Bure, 154 crowns each. Congratulations to all. You see, Iniski is a Fisher guy. Can I, I really thought he's he can play anything he wants here. I really thought he's going to get A3 in, but King G2 is the key move. So he went directly to the point. I don't know what Fortnick is thinking about here. Maybe he has to play Bishop E7 and F6 at some point. Although now it's, 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 getting, uh, it's getting a little bit. He just, his game is, his position is going downhill with each move. Right in his uh, All right. advantage. All right, I'm coming for the whole pool here. Has to be done. What is a French player doing when he's in trouble? I don't know. This looks like a French to me suddenly. It looks just like a French. Wow. Except for the weird pawns in the center of the C5 and D4 thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, White has just got a killer position. It's a bloodbath. Total carnage indeed. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that saves the day. Oh, G7. Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah, Rook D7. Well, what good does that do if you haven't played F6? I don't know. What do I know? F6 does weaken the light squares, though, too. Even more. Ah, oh, God. <sighs> yeah, I think Black should just resign. You know, for an even position on material, this is pretty bad. No disrespect to Bortnik. I think I'm just, uh, Uniski has played it incredibly well today, I think. Yeah, yeah, very, very clear, very precise uh, game so far. I think Burton could do very little after exchange on G6, since the position plays by itself. But, um, but he couldn't prevent it either. Viva la revolution? What the heck are you guys talking about? I don't know. Okay, so Bishop E7 was played. Finally. Fine. Finally. Thank you for burying me, Bortnik. <sighs> yeah, it's a, a little bit too little too late. Yeah. Well, One of those comes. things. It's this time. Why did we play King G2? I don't know. Oh, we could play Rook H1 first. No, he will too. I just put in H5. I am dumb. Uh, well, eh. now I, I think H5 is a little more precise, actually. Then rook H1? Yeah, because then you see what, what black's going to do before you move the rook. <clears throat> will he push past? Of course he will. How <sighs> much do you need to move bishop D3 at this moment? Yeah, that's not happening. Because he, he wants to keep the, the uh, X-ray, so that F6 sucks, right? So maybe it's a good move. Bishop D3 is on Queen E4 at some point. The bishop's great on C4, man. It's pointing at the president's head. Well, on C4, it threatens at some point to exchange from G5 <sighs> with a stronger attack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, he can decide it later. So H5 right. probably is a proper move because... It, it's required in any case, regardless of what white will do, h5 right. is, has to be played. Correct, well. Inspector. Correct. And look at this queen g4. Yeah, well, the guy can play anything here, really. But h, h5 and rook h1 are the consistent moves. <clears throat> the, the only drawback of h5 is that it's sort of like hanging in and black has to evaluate every time possibility of h5 and once it's played it's played so okay what well, it cannot get any worse yeah. so sometimes especially when your opponent is in time travel you just threaten to play h5 but you actually don't play it you just keep it as a threat 
That's a smart way of playing these positions. Okay, how are you? Oh, well, you guys still have over 11 minutes left at Borkin four and a half. Okay, so there's a great advantage. Actually, I like both move Bishop G3 and Rook H1 just to keep it the threat H5, but not actually playing it. Yeah, bishop d3. I think bishop d3 is a really strong move here. I like it where it is. Not that h5 is uh, anything wrong with this move. It's a strong move, but I would I would keep it as a threat. Because black has nothing to do in this position. Well, it was very interesting what Unioski will play here. In the meantime, we have Nenat Rabura, this is the first place, followed by Solodovnichenko, Novo Pizzinia, Esper Drama, Edgar Rivas, Ismail Vidal, <laughs> and uh, Andrade, 0 1. That's our board now. Wow, now h5 shows you almost winning. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, white's position is really awesome. I think it's just, uh, I, I don't think it, even 10 moves will be played. All right, he has time for a smoke and a Cuban sandwich right now. <clears throat> yeah, or two sandwiches. Without smoking. <laughs> In reverse order. <laughs> First the Cuban sandwich, some uh, cafe con leche, and then the cohiba. Yes. The victory oh. cigar is time. It is time. <laughs> cohiba probably won't make it in eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 yeah, that would be a waste. So look at this, a hint, h5, after which white has advantage 2.34, it's yeah. basically winning. White won this game by playing queen f3 and move 23 instead of queen h1. Queen h1 was completely... <laughs> uh, yeah. this is I'm crazy. wondering if anybody would put any crowns at queen h1. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I, I wouldn't put even half, half a crown for that move. Okay. Yeah, look at h for i is very, very strong hint. Yeah, Over two points. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Unieski feels that... Um, he is about to win this game. He wants to be precise in what he's doing. Okay, Sada Perez, Uniski looks good to me. And to me. Yeah. To all of us. Boom! Yes, finally, H5. I know. What will Bordening go? And Kodok Chekanao is in the lead, followed by Nitnadra Julia, Novak Pizzega, Edgar Rivas, Ismail Vidal, Sepan Valderama, Atradi 01, and Urukucha. Okay, so what do I have to play G5? What? Right? I think so. Yeah, it's boxer, he's busted, yes. 
Must push. No, it's not going to play. Yeah, must, what? must. Must increase must. his bust. And then H6 is just rolling him up. So it's a matter of mop-up. Yes. I guess Yaniski just was making sure that the package was sealed and the ribbons were all on top. Yes, a ribbon in his hair. He puts a ribbon in his hair. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is a crusher. Yeah, but the other moves are even worse, like bishop f6, queen f7, I don't know. No, must play g5. I guess while we have a lull, I'll apologize for the noise. I got a chair with wheels because <clears throat> I've been sitting at the wrong position and it's caused some issues. So I'm rolling around now, so be a little more flexible, and I didn't realize it was going to cause noise. And there's g5. And now, of course, h6. And I would like to also thank my dear friend Sasha Starr for keeping me grounded and telling me to keep my mouth shut and just enjoy the game. This is fun. Yes, h6. <clears throat> Bishop takes d5. Not happening. Sure, it wins, but it's not happening. There we go. And, of course, uh, six. Everybody was expecting this, and now I don't know. Play f6 here, or but g takes h6. <laughs> well, he hasn't played f6 yet. And uh, well, he needs to run for his life, though. Wait a minute. Maybe he will try. Bishop f8 is frivolous. It's it's kind of stupid. Bishop F8 is just dumb. I hate to be the one to tell everyone that. It's just dumb. Yeah, he's going to take. I think he'll take. You better run for your life if you can, little girl. Yep, the king is in trouble. He is living in a cardboard box. He did play F6. I went the wrong way, and everybody had that. I'm probably out of it now. That's uh, many, too many wrong coin flips. But Yuri Solodovnichenko is in great shape. Bravo, Yuri. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I finally came to the conclusion that G takes was a little more complicated because F6, it's just kind of obvious what to do. He's not going to rip. He's going to play. The rook gate's fun. Hello. Vienna calling. Why is bishop takes T5 3.21? Woohoo. Really? Really? Rook H1. Oh, you just remove defender, I guess. I tell you, man. Uh, rook h1 should also be 3.21. I have experience with this type of position from my King's Indian Attack World Championship run correspondence days. Yes. Rook h1 ends the game. It's obvious. Yeah. It's obvious. Yeah. To anyone. Everybody put your money on Bishop takes d5, please. Queen h5 even wins. Queen h5 he might do. Yeah. Queen h5 even wins. Why doesn't Stockfish give that? It's better than Bishop D3, I think. No, yeah. Bishop D3 is not the move here. Right, right. I mean, what's Stockfish? I mean, seriously, Stockfish. We're not moving bishops. We're moving rooks or queens. Bringing the heavy artillery over to invade. Yes. There we go. 363 on that, really? Well, imagine that. Yeah, that was obvious. And now, taking is obvious, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, is he going to start eating? Oh, he might as well. Oh, Yuniski oh, like the as well take. Yuniski hung a piece, oh my god! <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Dude, just resign. But we don't want that, because the contest is exciting. The contest is more important than this game, which has been over for a while. Oh. Take the piece, and then Uniski will play h takes g7. 
and drop the hammer on your head. Break it down. Hammer time. Well, I guess it's a matter of uh, taste to play G6 or to pick up the piece. I have to pick up the piece. Yeah. Not, you're, you're dying anyway, so at least uh, <laughs> let people enjoy it. Right. I mean, the guy could blunder uh, both their long time. He could make a mouse slip. Take the piece for sure. What is he thinking about? Dude, you got 117 and you're not taking a piece. And you're busted no matter what. Take the piece. That you can take. Uh, you can say to your grandchildren that you played uh, Grandmaster Ineski and you had an extra piece. Well, yeah, Ineski had to sacrifice to beat me, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, sacrifice or not, but the fact is it's an extra piece. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he had it for about a minute and a half. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, I love what he did here, Yuniski. He did a, a very, very lovely attack today. Boy, yeah, uh, the position played by itself, really. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> so I'm wondering if he will pick up uh, the speeds. So far, he's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Bishop F8. It's a little overly optimistic. <laughs> so. Oh. Okay, Niski. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep now. Just take. Just take, man. Get it over with. Just take. <clears throat> Boom. Well, he has five and a half minutes, and um, Bortnik is, has, what, 20 seconds left, so. Basically, the game is about over. In the meantime, so Dovinshek is in the lead, followed by Novak Pizel and Nenadra Bulia, Edgar Rivas, Esteban Valderrama, Ismail Vidal, Slav Popovic, and uh, Andrade 01. So, it's very, very solid leaderboard. And uh, they've been there for almost all contests. Dresden East Star, uh, things happened so fast today. We had free entry today, didn't we? Yes, we did. Well, thank you. That was very, very, very generous of you. Everyone and it's appreciate more, that. more as well. Yeah. Pay attention, guys. This was free. Sasha's being nice to everyone. I don't know why. They don't deserve it, but yes. Bravo, Sasha. Well, tomorrow, among other things, tomorrow is Mother's Day. So. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. We have to celebrate. Yes, we do. Yeah. And where would we be without our mothers? Hmm. Some of these guys online right now need to think about that. Where would we pay without our mothers? Seriously. Well, so far, Unieski invested quite a bit of his time. He still has four minutes left. But he has to come up with the goods. I happen to love mothers, by the way. But, right, we all love this. <sighs> he still has to deliver. It's not Mother's Day over there, though, is it? They don't, yeah. It is or isn't? You know. Of course you know. You know everything. Hmm. I think they already had a Mother's Day, right? Okay, yeah. I'm a little bit worried about Unesco. He's down now to about three and a half minutes. More than enough time to finish this game, but he has to do the moves. He it's has funny. to deliver. It's funny how Stockfish keeps uh, being obsessed about taking that night that he hasn't done yet, so he's not going to. I don't know what he's thinking about. Oh, dude, is he playing on his phone again? Thank you. Okay, finally, we see the move. We see the move. Oh, my God. I hope and he's on his phone. And you lost three days on G7 ASAP. Oh, he's got to take with the bishop. The queen is just dumb. He's got to try to run. He's got to try to create Luft. And there is no place to hide. As Pat Benatar said, you okay. better, you better hide. So now we are looking at... Now, Bishop D6, the Krasha yeah. from Russia. Welcome. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Bishop D6. You're dead as a doornail. Boom! Get him, Yuniski! Boom! Yes! Oh, am I cheering for him? I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. <laughs> well, Queen F7 box or Queen Rook takes D6. Well, this guy hasn't taken anything, so I guess he's going to try and defend with goofy moves. There it is. Oh, 160 crowns oh. already? Ah, that sucks. Wow. Wow. So, 
Well, now would be a funny time to play A3. Um, yeah. Well, how do we, there's a hundred ways to win this. Uh-oh, there's a hundred ways to win this. I kind of like, Rick H5, Rick H2. Whoa, this is the contest right here. Oh, contest right here, good ear. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, here we go. I know what I would do, and I'm going to do it. Boom. Does Yuniski think like, yes, yes. <laughs> Rook <Rugged> is five. <coughs> I had that. 628. <clears throat> yes. 628. Yay. Oh, my God. Yeah, Black is, he did play Queen G6 already. Well, double the Rooks. Dude, that's why you played the Rook up. Everyone will have this one. I'm choking on my coffee and I can't believe what's happening here. Okay, done. And now he's got to run. And it's frivolous, but he's going to run. He's going to hide. King F7. And then, in the mind of Yuniski, how will he finish? King F7 is like... It's like stepping into your grave. Yeah, it's almost great. Well, do we play Rick H7 now, or do we move the queen? I don't think we move the queen. I like the Rook H7. Here it comes. Nobody has this on the board, really? Well, then, thank you. Please give me the whole pool. Why did I say anything? <sighs> Rook H7. What would you play here in a blitz game? Bishop D3. Ah, to say. Yeah, you might play Bishop D3. Actually, I'm thinking of you, that's probably coming now. Yeah, I put in the wrong move. Dude, I'm, I'm like fifth? Really? <laughs> wow. Too bad I didn't put in Bishop D3 like everybody else. If I have Rook H7, I'm going to win the contest. Wow. Uh, to win the contest uh, is uh, Queen D1. Mm. Yeah, like that's happening. Maybe A3 now. You know, A3, he's kind of like had plenty of time to stop the queenside expansion that Black's devastating queenside expansion. <sighs> wow. <laughs> There's some crazy moves Stockfish has up there. But Bishop D3 does make sense. But I just like Rook H7. What do you like? But uh, see, Rook H7, you have Rook H8 reply, and then what? Oh, really? Oh, no problem with that. Yeah, okay, I think take it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. He's going to play Bishop, you're right. He's going to play Bishop D3. You're right. D3 is a, is a box move, basically. Yeah, I'm done. That's what's coming. Yeah, that's what's that coming. Play. Black plays F5. Black plays F5. And then what's the crusher from Odessa? After F5. Yeah. Uh, you know, this isn't that easy. And he did play your move. And now F5 is box. And F5 has to be played. And then uh, I think actually Queen D1. I don't know. Queen D1? I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 no. Let's go back to Coach Mike's plan. Yeah, yeah, I think I still, Coach Mike's plan is the way to roll here. Uh, the engine says Queen D1, but, oh, what? He's, what? Oh, no. No, no, wow, no, 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 no. Yuniski just, tell me he what? screwed this up. Oh, my God. Knight of six box. What's going on? Why did you do that, Yuniski? Why did you do, does G4 win? Please tell me G4 wins. Maybe it does. Ha well, that's where he's going, right? Isn't that the plan? That's the plan. Yes, that is the plan. Oh, this is this is Canubius. This is very Canubius. He might just move the rook too. Oh my God, what is going on here? G4 wins according to Stockfish. Does Uniski see it? Holy mother of God! We got an exciting game, Sasha. Uh, yes, so far, yes. <laughs> No, he chickened out. Well, this probably still wins too, though. 
I guess. I don't think that White has a win here, my mind you. Oh my god, yeah, knight g4, the problem is it not. Here it comes, knight g4, wow. No, and I'm too late. Jeez, you need to ski. You know, and now go back to h7 where I wanted the rook in the first place. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Uniski, my friend? Bortnik. And Bortnik, look at Bortnik, eight seconds. Is that eight seconds? Yes. Oh, my God. Against 34 seconds? Oh, my God. The contest is just like to anyone. This is ridiculous. What is Uniski thinking about? Move your rook. <laughs> Don't play queen takes yes. Thank you, Uniski. You're a genius. Okay, knight takes e5 box. That's obvious. Yeah, Mr. Ed would have that. Wilbur would have that. And then D takes, so we have an obvious position. And then what is going on? Oh, what is going on? What? Uh, yeah, horse is horse, of course, of course. He took the horse. I just going to, to Koenig G8 saves the day after D takes E5. Unbelievable. He has saved the day, Koenig. Koenig. Das ist nicht der Monhof. Yeah, nicht, nicht, nicht. King Koenig G8. No debate. And then the bishop goes back to C4, where it should have stayed all along. Ha ha. Shark B2, ha ha. What is going on? He never played A3 like he should have. This is all messed up. What? No, it's not Vidal. Oh, he just won 1,980 crowns. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. and he's in the lead. And Black just lost. Voted by Solodovnichenko, Novak Tezel, Nenad Rabulia, Slavka Popovic. Oh, this is a punishment. Oh, it's getting punishment. very exciting. G4. Uniski. Bravo, Uniski. <laughs> nice move. In time pressure. Uniski finds G4. Rook takes D3. Now box. Or is he going to go Rook takes E5? Does he know what's going on? You know, I don't think he does. He took Rook takes E5. I wish I'd done that. And everybody had it. It doesn't matter. All right. So now, Uniski, finish the guy off. Rook 1, H6. Flooding. The, it is a flood. There's a flood in Miami. No, he went the other way. Wow. Really? <laughs> I guess he has his choice again. Well, it still wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, I guess he should cover up his nuptials with rookie seven or something. I don't know. They play a three and try to queen a pawn or b three. Yeah, there you go. What is going on? Yeah. And what did he do? He played queen of six. Pick up sticks. She takes h five, and you can turn out the lights. Although rook one a six, I still kind of like that. Yeah, I, I still like it. Go go with the rook move, Uniski. Just torture this guy, and he went with the takes. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess he's going to run? Yeah, run. Run. Let's run. I think Black will lose on time. Yeah, he went the other way. Of course, now it's mating six. I think he'll oh. find the queen takes rook. Oh. Jesus. Holy mother of God. What a way to blunder. Well, it even happens with grandmasters. What the you need? He's like... Where's the trap? I don't see it. Uh, okay, I'll just take that. Thank you. And Black resigns. Congratulations to Yuri Solodovnichenko and to Uniski Quesada Perez. Yeah, the game is about over. Wow. Boom. Whoa. Okay, let's get uh, now Uniski. Yes. Tell us what's happened in this game. In the meantime, congratulations to winners. Solodovnichenko in first place is now Vidal, Nat Rabulia, Slavka Popovic, Novak Pezelia, mm. Edgar Rivas, Christian Ratsu, and Esteban Valderrama. By the way, Esteban is playing next Saturday against Uneski Kisada. There will be two teams also on really? Saturday. Uh, hello? Hello? Bueno, muy bueno, mi amigo. Congratulations. That had oh, to be thank fun. You, thank you. That had to be fun. <laughs> thank you. I think I played very well the game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It looked like a King's Indian attack out of Alyakin. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. The, in the, the, the opening was uh, always a little better for me because I had uh, too many space. In the position, yeah, he has he has very very good knight in d5, but uh, with my 
uh, light square uh, light square bishop, I always can take his knight. But I think the the most difficult for his position is is the he can improve. Um, okay, I think maybe the critical moment was here when he. He played B five, B four. Yeah. And I played Bishop F four. Uh, I, I I was thinking this E five move. Yeah, I think E five is a great move. Yeah, because because his position, if he played B five, B five is uh, okay, more uh, dynamic. Yeah, um, Yuniski, may I ask you a question? Did you consider Knight B one here instead of Bishop F four? Uh, yes, but. Um, Yes, I consider this idea with the um, uh, okay with the uh, future idea to go with my knight to c4. Yeah, like um, this is the, the only the only square that he can go for for c4 uh, because if I play b uh, knight a4, he play knight d5. Yeah. Um, I can go to c4 because b3 and knight b2 is um, uh, I give him to c3. Uh, very weak square. Yes. Um, yes but 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 I don't know. If knight b1, he can play knight d5. I think I am not better here because e5 is 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 coming. And okay, yeah. I, I can see the computer thinks that mm -hmm. knight d2, and he the computer gives this e3 bishop. But for the human point of view, this. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, ne I, ne I never saw to give in my my uh, dark square bitch. Okay, yeah, I agree with you on that. I don't like giving yeah. it up either. But I think uh, if okay, if he play e five, I think the position should be very uh, complicated because yeah. I need to take. He can take. Um, okay, one of the lines that I see here was knight e four take. Give him the c5 pawn, but uh, the pin is very awkward. I don't know if I can play even here bishop c4 <laughs> because he can take an f2 here and king g2 take. And this is one of my lines. Uh, I see this, but okay, I, I'm I'm stuck to thinking the position at this point. I don't know if I'm better here. Uh, of course, the pin is very awkward, but he can play rook e7 yep. and some point to to double rook. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Uh, this needs uh, a lot of calculation. Yeah, it's where he had to go. There, yeah. Even this queen g6, I, I, I always have this kind of move. But um, of course, knight e4, take, take. I, I have, to, I have to, to play this this move. Uh, another another interesting idea is go to the queen in a5. Wow! Just just to take this pawn. I don't know if this uh, is better than <laughs> he played. Okay, but he played this queen b7. Yeah, uh, yeah knight e4. <laughs> it's important for me because I think this is the the only way for advantage. Because if I go to a4, my my knight is all, all, all uh, over the board. Yeah. Uh, okay, knight e4. E, e2. Okay. Knight f6. And queen f3. I think... Um, okay, this is... I, I think my, my position is very easy for play. I just play h4 and h5 at some point. I keep my uh, light square bishop in c4. And the other bishop in e5. And if 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 he change my, the dark square bishop, the position should be good for for him. But this is very difficult. Dude, this was look. not obvious, and you saw what was going on here. I didn't see it until you got the bishop on e5 and realized, wow, the guy's dead. Yeah, but but the position is very very uh, easy for play as black because uh, as white because yeah. When I go with my bishop in c4. He can improve the position. I knight d5. Then I go with with uh, okay. He played knight d5, bishop e5. Very this strong. This is very move strong because, move. Yeah, right. because 
He uh, never uh, played. Yeah. Can play. <laughs> yeah. Because bishop f4, simple move, and e6 is very weak. Yeah, the light scores are dead. Um, you're done. You're just done. Boom. Yes. Ah. Um, if he play this g5 here, I can play queen h5, which is very annoying move. F6 and bishop d3. I my attack is. Uh, okay, the game is over here. Bravo. Um, <laughs> okay, he played this rook a d8. I think it's good. Bishop c4. Yeah, nice. Uh, move. Yes, I, I don't. Okay, maybe h4 first is better, but yeah, I it, don't have a uh, rush <laughs> to improve my, my position. Okay, bishop e7. That didn't dip your hand that you were going to play h4 and king g2, but I, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, man. Yeah. yeah, he played this a5 and Beautiful. Just simple king, king g2. Yeah. He was improving my position and uh, I am, okay, my, my plan is to open the h5. Uh, he played, I think, bishop f6 here. Hey, Yuniski, uh, Yuniski, on to move yeah. 27, did you, for one second, consider playing a3 like Fisher against me, I'm concerned? <laughs> Just yeah, he, no, he, he played a4 here. Yeah, I know. Did you think about playing a3 there? <laughs> no, because a, a3, okay, uh, it's it's a, a threat, but but not right now. I know, you don't it's even have to bother threat. with it. I know, it just would have been funny. <laughs> yes, because if a, a3, I simply take the pawn and take with the queen. It's a, it's a pawn down for him. Yeah. Um. Okay, I play a5 here. You can play anything, e5. really. And h6, and the, the important line I I think a lot in this position because I am worried about this take. Yeah, yeah, he had the take. H1 and bishop f8, but finally I see that like this line take take queen f6. Uh, he need to take an e5 take bishop g7, yes. and I see this. I don't know if this work, but it's very nice. Take it oh, oh look at that! And then, wow. take and take. Boom! Right in the mouth! Yeah, then I go ski. with my rook in this one. That's awesome! That's awesome! Yeah, because oh, if oh. I don't have this rook h6, <laughs> if I don't have this move, his position is... He, he, he can, you know, hold it, maybe hold the position. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, right. I, but finally I saw that, that line. Brilliant! You um, bravo! Beautiful. Bravo. Yeah, and um, he play here. Okay, I I I think that he 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 saw the the line. Um, f6, and then rook h1. Um, okay, the idea is if he take my bitch, I simply take, and g7. He can take here because rook h7. Um, queen f7 is coming, and then the other rook get me. Uh. Yes, he need, he played bishop f8, which I think this is the best move in my point of view. Uh, I simply need to take take and bishop d6. Um, okay, queen f7. But here I think I have a huge advantage because he, he's always trying to to defend the position and rook h5. Queen g6, um, double rook, Nash, uh, fine, um, okay, king f7, okay, I see this idea, yeah, and bishop e5, because the idea is if he take, take, and king g7, rook h7, um, and I'm attacking here, take, take, check, check, take, um, if he going here, bishop e2 and bishop h5. I saw this and maybe I have a better move, but I think here, even here, I'm, I'm winning. Seeing g4 uh, was pretty spectacular, man. On move 40, g4, bravo. Yeah, knight f6. Um, okay, I, I saw this take and f6 first, take and take and c6, but I think that it's not. Okay, rook h2 is very simple. I see. Knight g4. Uh, I see maybe he, I can take in g4. Take and take in g6, but I have my... 
my advantage I could sing uh, is not too big if I play like this. Yeah. But uh, with rook h7, okay, he take, he take, and okay, maybe he has something better than rook d5 because okay, g4 and I open all the fight. Yes, maybe the computer seems that king g8 is good. Okay. G4, maybe rook f8, and um, he hold the position. Yeah. I don't know. Nah. A king g8, for nah. example. Nah. Um, I don't know, g4. Uh -oh. Okay, he can take. He can take even here. Uh -oh. Under my d3, bishop is, is hanging. Maybe I need to go with bishop c2 or bishop c4. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, but, um, the game. See, okay, bishop c2, just to play g4. There you go. Yeah, um, um, okay, rook d5, g4, take, I take in c6. It's a, it's a better way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the game. yeah. Okay, rook, rook d5, g4, um, yeah. I think the, the game is over here. Take, take, and too many weakness in the position. Uniski, what did um, you have for lunch today? I'm sorry? What'd you have for lunch today? Because whatever it was, you should eat it every day. I mean, you were on fire. No, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, he played through queen f6, but anyway, he take here. Um, if he take with the pawn, he a bit of check. He can go here because I take queen of room f7. Yeah. And the game is over. Very good. Yeah, I, I, I think that, uh, okay, the, the critical moment was was uh, in the opening. He, if he played e5, it was very uh, okay, very complicated uh, position. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. uh, Ines, can I ask you to say a few words in uh, Spanish to the audience uh, because they enjoyed the game? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Ok, empezaré a comentar la, la partida a partir de esta posición, porque creo que, eh, por ejemplo, a partir de esta posición, creo que aquí es la, el momento crítico. Aquí tenía que jugar las negras E5 si querían eh, buscar una posición bastante eh, complicada, caballo 4. Y sí, aquí yo pensé en caballo 4. Caballo de 5 es más interesante, así C1 y. Debo estar un poco mejor ahí en la, en la posición. Eh, aquí, ok, el jugo dama B7 y luego de caballo 4, que se cambia en caballo. Creo que mi posición es, tengo una ventaja bastante grande. Porque aquí mi posición es muy fácil de jugar. Fix C4, H4, H5, abriendo la, las líneas y la columna H y, y es, muy, es muy fácil jugar para mí. Caballo de 5, alfil de 5, y aquí lo importante es que F6 no funciona por alfil F4. Y si cambia el caballo por el alfil, el peón de 6 sería muy débil y terminaría perdiéndolo. Eh, porque luego alfil C4 y doblar torre en E, la presión sería muy fuerte. Por eso él continuó jugando torre de 8, alfil C4, eh, alfil E7 y H4. Aquí mi posición es bastante fácil de jugar, solamente H5 y, y rey G2 a poner la torre en H. Él jugó creo a 5 aquí, rey G2. Trató de hacer A4 aquí para jugar a 3 y tratar de cambiar, eh, o sea, ganar la casilla C3, pero no funciona porque sencillamente tomo el peón y tomo luego con dama también. Eh, y si caballo C3 luego de tomar en A3, torre de 3 sigue en el aire el caballo. O sea, eh, termina el caballo en ahí. Eh, aquí él me jugó, eh, ok, aquí yo jugué H5, G5, si toma, dama por H5 y terminará, terminaría la partida en más. H6, y creo que es el momento crítico, aquí pensé bastante en esta jugada, pero un corto H1, eh, alfil F8, si, si F6, torre por H6 y la posición es bastante... Eh, o sea, es insostenible porque luego da más, da más a 5 terminaría en mate. Eh, alfil F8, eh, alfil por D5, esta fue la línea que, que cuando la vi me decidí rápidamente a jugar, por eso pensé bastante. Pero un por alfil G7 y tengo torre por H6. Y luego de torre H1 la, la posición es completamente ganada por mí. Eh, aquí, 
me puede, aquí juega, por ejemplo, ajá, no puede jugar esto, me jugó contra H6, F6, creo que fue la mejor jugada, Torre H1, jugué yo, eh, alfil F8, buena jugada por él, peón por, alfil por, y alfil D6, eh, dama F7, y torre H5, pensé que doblando torres en H era mi mejor opción para buscar la, la ventaja y continuar el ataque, y torre H1, eh, rey F7 y creo que él ha jugado bastante correcto, F5 y alfil E5 aquí esto, bueno, me pone la computadora que, que, que no es tan buena la jugada yo pensé en esto porque estaba corto de tiempo y pensé que con esta podía buscar eh, continuar mi ataque con torre H7 eh, caballo F6 y aquí torre H2 en principio pensé que caballo G4 no funcionaba por nada por G4, pero por, al fin por G6 y rey por y al fin por G7 y, y el final estaba perdido, pero él me puede salir rey por G7 y, y no tengo mi ventaja más tan grande aquí. Eh, aquí sencillamente torre H7 y la posición creo que es bastante ya difícil para el peón por, peón por y G4 siempre es una amenaza, además de que estoy comiendo el peón de C6. Eh, me jugó torre de 5. G4, aquí una, una de las, la, eh, o sea, aquí peón por es una eh, amenaza bastante grande, peón por F5, y el por, incluso el fin por F5, peón por y peón por y pierde la dama, aquí tomó y yo tomé acá en, en C6 luego de, de dama F6 peón por, pero de, todo, de cualquier manera eh, peón por F5 es una amenaza muy grande porque peón por luego tengo el fin C4 y la dama G6. Eh, está en el aire, me jugó dama f6 peón por f5 y bueno, aquí dejó una torre en el aire con rey g8 mi rival, pero bueno, contra peón por igual, la posición es perdida con, con el field hack aquí eh, incluso aquí esta línea, por ejemplo, si rey f7 dama c7 rey f8 y tengo un bonito mate con torre h8 torre por y torre por h8 dama por y dama f7 y mate, mate. Aquí, eh, o sea, ya la, la posición no tenía eh, salvación ahí con ninguna jugada. Mucha debilidad. Eh, bueno, espero que hayan disfrutado la partida y los invito mañana al, al, al rematch. Boschnik eh, eh, tiene que, tiene que claro, ganarme, va con las piezas blancas y, y espero que, que sea una atractiva partida. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you very, very much. And good luck tomorrow. What a treasure we have. Thank you. What a guy. Thank you, Iniski. Thank you very much, everybody. And good night for today. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll look at second game. Adios. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.